Now, 27 storm trap weather with meteorologist Max Sapir. Beginning in the Gulf of Mexico, where I'm tracking Hurricane Zeta, you can see that counterclockwise cloud swirl and rain bands ahead of it, heading right towards the southern coast of Louisiana. Looks like New Orleans is going to bear the brunt of this storm. Now, a Category One with 90 mile per hour winds, moving due north at 18 miles per hour. And look at this track; looks to make landfall by late this afternoon into the early evening hours. And I think it tracks right over New Orleans as a strong Category One hurricane. High winds up to 90 miles per hour can be seen along with two to six foot storm surge and possibly above a half foot of rain. So another terrible situation for Louisiana, the fifth landfalling hurricane for Louisiana this year or landfalling tropical system, I should say. And that ties the most amount of tropical systems making landfall in a single state in a single season. Florida has the current record of five set back in 2005. Locally, when you get a big system like that to make landfall on the U.S. coast, it absorbs all the energy. So we have a quieter pattern, and that's exactly how this one tracks out today, too. Lots of sunshine, a touch milder with those winds out of the southwest, and a high approaching 50. We're overall in a little bit of a below average temperature stretch here, but we do have some back and forth motion before we get a little more consistent warmth next week. 50 today for your high, mid 40s tomorrow and Friday, mid 50s for Saturday. So for the Halloween folks out there, uh, not going to have to bundle up this year quite so much, unlike last Halloween, and then we're going to cool off to begin the month. Okay, there's a look at temps, upper 30s and low 40s, but with that breeze, it feels more like the low to mid 30s. Those winds are out of the southwest at 5 to 15 miles per hour, and will stay that way the rest of the day. Now, tonight into tomorrow, our winds shift. They'll spill out of the north, ushering in that colder trend here as we round out the week. Maybe want to get a little bit of raking done after that early season snow we experienced earlier this week. Uh, yeah, we got some leaves on the ground for sure. We are a bit breezy today and tomorrow. Winds slack off a bit on Friday, but the winds will pick up this weekend. Uh, so just get outside if you can at some point and clean up the yard. Temperature outlook from the Climate Prediction Center showing a high chance for warmer than average conditions for much of the heartland, including here in southern Wisconsin. That's the 8 to 14 temperature day outlook. So that takes us from next midweek through the following week. So probably like the first 10 days of November look like a high chance for warmer than average conditions. We'll get around 50 today, milder with lots of sunshine, down to freezing tonight with increasing clouds. And tomorrow, a touch colder, only in the mid 40s, partly sunny skies and still a bit breezy. This time, though, winds will be out of the north. Your seven day forecast showing those ups and downs through the holiday weekend. Mid 50s by Saturday afternoon. We have to fall back as we get back to standard time Saturday night into early Sunday. High of 40 Sunday and then upper 40s on Monday. Election day itself will be dry and sunny in the 50s. Oh, that's good. Uh, so Caroline, really no weather to get in the way of voting yeah. really now through election mm -hmm. day. And it looks like we hold on to a dry pattern and a warmer one through next week. All right, I like it. Max, mm -hmm. thank you.